So first and foremost, the important question I have to ask, who gets the joke? No one, no one has ever seen Christian Slater's epic Gleaming the Cube. All right, well, that's lost on all of you, and I feel bad about that. So a couple of months ago, I guess it was a couple of months ago, I was down at the Red Hat user group down near in the Red Hat Tower, and Jason Hibbett says, hey, do you want to come talk about Kubernetes in five minutes? And I laughed, and I said, no, you can't do that. That's just quite simply impossible. So, okay, cool, I'll do that. So, <laughs> me not being a very smart man. So, you can't do how Kubernetes in five minutes. We can talk about it being written in Go, and we can talk about it being a Google project, and we can talk about etcd, and we can talk about all the other components and bits and stuff, and I'll run out of time way before we get to anything meaningful. But the one point I can make in five minutes, at least I hope I can try to make in five minutes, we can know why Kubernetes. I mean, Kubernetes is a tool, it exists, it's part of Atomic, it's part of CoreOS, it's part of most, most modern application-centric or most modern container-centric tools out there. Why? Why, do, why? why does it exist? Well, and, and I, this next slide, this is the one that I hope gets uh, the Docker guy not to want to beat me up, but containers are really just kernel parlor tricks. And I say that, and I, and I say that earnestly, but I say that to try to make the point. What containers are, are things that live only inside the kernel. They only live inside the Linux kernel. That's the only place they exist. Uh, if you were at Thomas's uh, container and security talk, or if you were at the Core OS talk yesterday, you had a really good, a really good introduction into what containers are. Containers are kernel control groups. Containers are SE Linux, and containers are kernel namespaces. So, if they're everything that a container is is inside the kernel, how does it know when I want my application to span three servers or three data centers or three planets or whatever? How does it know what's past that? And the answer is it doesn't. Containers only exist inside the kernel. That's it. So to have, to, to be able to scale out a modern, highly resilient, all of those fun buzzwords application, we have to have Kubernetes. We have to have a tool that will take my kernel and take four other kernels or 40 other kernels and glue them all together and let me see them as one abstracted out whole. That's what it does. And, that's, and the rest of it is bits and, and they're fun bits that I wish I could get into. We could, I have two minutes and 19 seconds left, so we're not gonna be able to do that. So kernel containers are awesome kernel parlor tricks. They really are. Um, the Core S guy's not here today, is he? Did he leave? He was, if, good, because he's probably gonna wanna beat me up after I say that. <laughs> so what Kubernetes does do is it takes all of those kernel constructs and it lets you make the highly available apps and do all sorts of fun things. And that's what it's there for. So I guess in, if I had a summary, and I really don't have a summary, that, um, but in the how, we can't get into, but the why, Kubernetes is one of the most important tools out there, I think, today. Um, containers are parlor tricks, but they're also revolutionizing the data center. Containers are changing how we think about technology, and I'm not gonna say DevOps, but I'll go ahead and say DevOps. They're really making us rethink. You know, there is a new mode to IT, and the, the whole bimodal thing, people kind of cringe, and, and, and especially in this room, probably people cringe a lot. But it, it's making us rethink how we do software, and it's making us rethink how we deliver software. So we have to have a tool that's gonna get out there and let us, let us make that next step, and that's what Kubernetes is. I think it's a really good, I think it's a really good start to it. So, so that's the point I wanted to come up and make, that we have to have Kubernetes because we have to have containers, and containers can't think outside the kernel. And that's what I've got, I have 50 seconds left. I wish we could have questions, but if anyone wants to rough me up, I'll be outside. <laughs> Thanks.